Good evening, friends. So unfortunately, I finished a three-hour stream uh, doing the first year of this fort, uh, Ever Trumpets. And unfortunately, because of the background music I used had a copyright strike against it, I disagree with it, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't want to post a three-hour video that a quarter of it is muted, because there's no fun in watching that. So I thought instead, since I want to keep go ahead and playing this fort on Twitch, I'd give a quick fort tour, uh, show you what I did in a year, and then uh, if you join me on Twitch probably tomorrow, you can see us continue to build it out. So again, this is uh, Ever Trumpets. The goal was to build all of the social areas of the fort above ground and use below ground just for production, you know, food making, stuff making, and bedrooms. But try to have the taverns and the libraries and the big temples uh, and maybe the larger bedrooms eventually above ground. So what do we do so far? We've got, uh, I'll zoom out here, I've got a fully flat land with just a brook and some trees, not a whole lot of trees. And I have built myself a little nice moat, walled it out. The moat froze when we came to winter, so I wound up actually surrounding it with some fortifications around there because I can't count on the moat to do anything other than keep trees from growing. This center here area is actually a tavern, which clearly still needs a floor, but at least I finally got it roofed in. You need like 300 blocks per layer, so it took some time with those original seven dwarves and then 15 dwarves to kind of dig out enough and make enough blocks to get this far. Um, so it looks like a hot mess, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty happy with where I am after a year. So we got that. We've got the drawbridge up, so that's ready to close us out here. Uh, let me drop down one layer, and you can see I'm actually pulling from the moat, doing a quick pressure valve to go down the center staircase. So the center staircase goes down, and you can see the mist on every layer, every level as people go up and down. They're constantly hit by mist. What that's done for me has really made happiness skyrocket, even as amenities are pretty uh, short right now. Drop down, we got a food production level. Got some plump helmets over here, some pigtails over here, some rope reed. I want to try to export clothing, cloth-based items as much as possible for this one. That wants to be my primary export. Continuing on down, we're working on the production floor with four quantum stockpiles, about well, three quantum stockpiles, and then just uh, cloth and leather. I buy it by the bin for the most part. Um, so it's easier just to do bins than anything else here. So we're doing that. Got a mining level because you need a lot of stone. Um, and I want to make sure I build everything out of clay stone. So kind of seeing what's on this whole floor so I can mine out the appropriate stuff. Getting the bedrooms dug out. Certainly using that for some stone. Found a lot of iron and some platinum. So I think we're going to be able to decorate pretty well as we get into the second, probably third year. Uh, do some good work there. I started finding some, uh, some lignite too. So we'll have some fuel... I do want to get down to magma. And then all the way down here, I've set up, as that water flows down, kind of a cistern to hold water for us. And I have a small dorm room right here while I was waiting to build out these bedrooms with a well. So um, we're coming along. After one year, pretty proud of where we are. Seem touch and go a little bit, but we're not in a too dangerous zone, just standard wilderness. We've got a nice brook. We've got access to water most of the year. We're able to hold some. We've got a roof over our heads. We've got security. So uh, join me tomorrow for a stream, and we'll do the second year. Until then, have a great night. Thank you.